So what's going on in Phoenix? They just got eliminated by the Denver Nuggets in the NBA playoffs in six games. Just let go of arguably, I think, a top four coach in basketball, Monty Williams. They told him to kick rocks. They're talking about trading DeAndre Ayton. Who's going to make that trade? I don't know, but trade talks are going on with that. And Chris Paul, man, it's still a big old question mark on if he's going to be able to continue playing basketball at a high level due to his ongoing injuries whenever it comes to big time moments in the playoffs. So the Phoenix Suns, they have a long time history of, I guess, choking, or flopping. You know, you go back to the year 2021 in the NBA Finals where they was playing Milwaukee and they were up 2-0 in the series, then proceed to lose four consecutive games in the finals the following year after that. 2022 ran into Dallas. Care to guess what the lead was before they blew that? Okay. They don't really do well being up 2-0, right? <laughs> and then you look at this year. I mean, they didn't have a 2-0 lead, but you know, with Denver, I think Phoenix matched up very well with Denver. You know, you got Kevin Durant unguardable, Devin Booker unguardable, which throughout the series, both of those players actually perform very well it's just now and that kind of comes with making that type of trade for kevin durant now there goes your depth you don't have a lot of players coming off the bench that's quality guys because you had to get rid of mikhail bridges and cam johnson you know great offense and so so par well, i'm saying so par superb defense you know and this is what kind of comes with things and you, you kind of seen that with dallas this year you made that trade for kyrie irvin of course like you got a generational talent with Kyrie Irving, but you got to trade away a lot of depth. You got trade away defense, which ironically, that's where they went to Brooklyn. <laughs> so, you know, it's it's a little bit of a fiasco. Will Phoenix ever get out of this little slump? I think they can personally, you know, sign some good free agents, not no stars, but like good role players. Trade away Chris Paul. I think it's time to kind of move on from him. I think you can still get a little bit for him, you know, before he hang it up. Um, DeAndre Ayton, they just signed him for that crazy contract and good luck moving that, you know, which I believe he has no trade clause, if I'm not mistaken. I'm going to do some research on that. You know, nobody's really going to make a move for DeAndre Ayton making that type of money, given his production that he had last year. So, you know, it's trouble over there in Arizona, man. And if you look at the Western Conference, man, you got, of course, you got the Lakers, which I'm picking to win the NBA championship. That's if Anthony Davis be productive. You got Denver. They're looking good. You got Sacramento. They here. You know, you have a lot of great teams. Golden State. There's trouble in paradise in Golden State also. I may do a video on that. But um, it's interesting to see how will Phoenix adapt and move on from this very disappointing loss because honestly man i think whenever they made that trade for kevin durant i think a lot of people really had phoenix as the favorite to come out of the west and whenever you got a guy like kevin durant paired up with devin booker that's supposed to happen and let me not take anything away from d book too man because if you watch any of the denver series devin booker was going in he gave it his all um you can't never really point the finger at him you know, as far as like his scoring ability, man, because Devin Booker, man, he's one of the best scorers in the game of basketball with him being a guard and being that efficient, man, it's, it's crazy, bro. It's outrageous. But that's pretty much going to conclude this video right here, man. I'm just saying it's, it's trouble. It's trouble in Phoenix. You know, that's the Kevin Durant effect. <laughs> You make, you make all these moves for him. You get Kevin Durant in the building, and, you know, KD is a very pricey player, so you got to give up a lot of stuff for him. Brooklyn paid the price, which luckily they bounced back from, you know, and, and now you got Phoenix. They paying the price. So anyway, man, I got a video talking about Anthony Davis, um, him kind of being a 50-50 type player, man. I'm going to go ahead and put it off to the right, and I also got another Deuce Talks playlist. You know, I'm going to feature that here, so go ahead and check those out, man. But anyway, I'm going to conclude this video. Love you. Peace.